What's going on, Arizona Sports Fan family? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Today, what I want to talk about is where the hell has Robbie Anderson been? All right, everybody, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, today what I want to specifically focus on is Robbie Anderson, right? One of the big trades that we ended up trading for in the 2022 season, and we have yet to see any production from our wide receiver that we ended up getting from the Carolina Panthers. Now, before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We're throwing out content daily on this channel, so subscribe and join the community. All right, but let's dive right into it, right? The Arizona Cardinals made some trades before the trade deadline. We ended up, you know, being pretty active we ended up trading for Cody Ford we ended up trading for Trayvon Mullen and we also ended up trading for Robbie Anderson now I'm not gonna lie to you when we traded for Robbie Anderson my first initial reaction was okay I mean all right that I mean that's cool but now that I really thought about it I guess it did make sense right we ended up having Hollywood Brown getting injured AJ Green it seems like his his good days are, are behind him at this very moment. So I think Robbie Anderson's purpose and, you know, the reason why we traded for him was because to get that number two wide receiver for, you know, DeAndre Hopkins, as well as having one for Kyler Murray as well. Now, this has been a very lackluster move for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I'm not saying the trade in general, but just the execution of what we have done from Robbie Anderson, you know, having him come into this, you know, Arizona Cardinal organization and just... We have not done anything with Robbie Anderson. Now, let's take a look at a snap count from when we actually did bring him in. We ended up bringing him in in week seven. Now, in week seven, he didn't have very much production, right? He was on the field 20% of the uh, time. He ended up being out there in 13 offensive snaps. The next week, it was very weird because it almost kind of seemed like, oh, it's the complete opposite. You think you would want to give him more and more and more. But on week eight, he was only on the field 8% of the time and was only on the field for seven offensive snaps. Now, on week nine, it seemed like it did get bumped up, right? Probably a lot of fans ended up getting pissed off and, and, and wondering, where the heck is Robbie Anderson, right? On week nine, he ended up having 83% of the offensive snaps and then was on the field for 52 times for or 52 offensive plays. Now, all that is great, right? You know, we're, we're getting him to to get involved and to be a part of this offense. But truthfully, Robbie Anderson has done nothing for the Arizona Cardinals. At this very moment, his stats for the Arizona Cardinals, and this is including the Saints, the Vikings, and the Seahawks game, is one reception, negative four yards. Let me say it again for the people in the back. One reception, negative four yards. And guess what? The play that he ended up catching the ball was a screen play, ladies and gentlemen. I I just don't get it. I, I don't understand what is happening, right? Now, Robbie Anderson coming into the Arizona Cardinals, everybody knew that Robbie Anderson isn't a superstar, right? He isn't the best wide receiver out there that the Arizona Cardinals could have gotten, right? It's not. But honestly, he's a good wide receiver, right? A, a guy that could take the, the top off defenses. He's got some pretty good hands. I, I would probably rate him somewhere along the lines of a maybe seven wide receiver, not an eight, not a nine, not a 10, nothing like that. But this guy is decent. He's serviceable. He should be better than what A.J. Green is providing the Arizona Cardinals, at least at this very moment in A.J. Green's career. Now, it's funny because, right, the media is finally asking the right questions, right? What's happening with Robbie Anderson? Because it's concerning. Three games, one reception, negative four yards. What the heck? So, the media ended up asking Cliff Kingsbury, hey, what's going on? What's the progression of Robbie Anderson? What's happening? And what Cliff said would absolutely astound anybody. I don't buy it. I don't buy into the cookie cutter, you know, answers personally. This is what Cliff Kingsbury ended up saying, that the biggest reason why we're not having Robbie Anderson as far as like a big focal point in the offense is because there's no time for him to teach Robbie Anderson anything throughout, throughout the season. Like there's no time for him to teach him. Now, this is a really weird answer personally because Robbie Anderson is a professional wide receiver his job is to read the playbook and learn the playbook now I get it there's chemistry there there is you know uh, trying to gel with your quarterback I get it right all that stuff is very important but all this stuff should be established in practice as well as you know real game time you know time I don't understand the answer from Cliff Kingsbury. There's no time to teach him. 
So, you know, instead of teaching them, they got to go through their regular, you know, game day week and figure out the next game plan for the next uh, team for the next week. Like, that's crazy to me. It's absolutely bonkers of an answer. McCaffrey, who was traded over to, you know, the San Francisco 49ers. Yes, he's a running back, not a wide receiver. I get that. But he's already been a huge impact for the 49ers, where we have Robbie Anderson doing nothing for the Arizona Cardinals. And it's all due to our head coach. It's all due to our head coach not giving him enough time to learn the playbook. Like, that's such a weird, soft answer to me, right? An answer that that if you give to anybody, you would expect, oh my god, I hope they believe this. This guy's dumb. I hope they believe it. Like, seriously. Like, Cliff Kingsbury, bro, like, I, I get it, right? Things aren't going the way of the Arizona Cardinals this year. I get it. But to give that answer is very, very silly because these wide receivers shouldn't be waiting in a corner waiting for their head coach to come out and say are you ready to teach me are you ready to teach me the playbook are you ready no that's not how it should be he should be learning the playbook on his own he should be put out on the field because he's the best wide receiver that we have in the number two role yeah i mean it's i guess it's debatable right it could either be rondo moore or robbie anderson so it's debatable but this is insane of an answer it absolutely is the lack of production from Robbie Anderson is, I put this on the Cardinal organization. Absolutely, I put this on the Cardinal organization, on the coaching staff, on Cliff, on everybody. It, at this very moment, Robbie Anderson, I don't think he feels included in the Arizona Cardinal organization at all. I think he was just traded over there because of what ended up happening to Marquise Hollywood Brown, and AJ Green's lack of production, and we're here now, right? One of the big trades that we ended up trading for before the trade deadline, and he has done yet nothing for the Arizona Cardinals. And this is the fault of the Arizona Cardinals for not getting this right. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of this whole situation with Robbie Anderson and where the heck he has been? Let me know in the comments below, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Cards.